Joining me now in the studio is this year's Van Beckham Award winner, Gunjan Shah. Her research focuses on a new treatment approach for relapsed or refractory classical Hodgkin lymphoma, offering hope for patients with limited options. Gunjan, first of all, many congratulations. Perhaps for anyone that hasn't read the paper, you could tell us what is the approach and maybe what the biggest takeaway from your work is. Sure. Um, first, I'd like to thank EBMT for this award. Um, and uh, I'm honored to present this paper uh, as well as accept the award on behalf of my co-authors, um, the company, as well as the patients who participated in the trial. Uh, this clinical trial combines uh, an off-the-shelf third-party and K-cell product uh, with this drug, akimtimab, which is a uh, tetravalent bispecific, which uh, allows the uh, CD16A on the cells to um, also attach to the CD30 on the lymphoma cells and kill them. And what makes this new treatment approach different from current options for patients? Yeah, so the current treatments available for um, especially relapsed and refractory Hodgkin's lymphoma over the last couple of years have tried to uh, become more personalized and, and be able to use different molecules on the outside of the cells to target them better. And so this sort of uses all of that knowledge to then sort of take it to the next step uh, by using this new combination of therapies as well as an NK cell, which is different than the currently available immune cell products. And were there any particular challenges that you faced during the study and, and what were they? Yeah, so interestingly, you know, the day of the infusion uh, is actually three different infusions that have to happen and so it's a very long day for the patients and trying to get all of that to happen in one day, uh, you know, requires a lot of coordination for the patients and the staff and uh, the cell therapy lab and so I think all of those logistical challenges were interesting to work through um, as well as some of the side effects, um, you know, can be uh, you know, when you're doing an, a newer therapy, trying to sort of see those and how they compare to the older side effects. Um, were there any findings that surprised you or, or changed the way that you think about treatment for this disease? Yeah, so interestingly, you know, these patients have all already gone uh, through therapies that are com currently available for Hodgkin's lymphoma. And so we were hoping and we were glad to see uh, such high, uh, both complete response as well as overall response rates in this study. And looking ahead, what's, what's next for this research? What's the next steps? And, and how could it impact future treatment options? Yeah, so what I'll be presenting on is the uh, initial run-in phase. So there's four cohorts during that. And what's ongoing is the PK analysis from these cohorts to decide the dosing for the next stage. So we're really excited to continue with the study. And just finally, what does this award mean to you and to your team? We're so excited about the results from the study and we're excited to see it continue. And the award is really gr great to be able to recognize, you know, the effort of the team and the patients that have put into this study. Gunjan, thank you so much for joining us. And once again, many congratulations. Thank you. And thank you for having me.